What's up guys, this is the first tutorial in a series I'm doing on Joomla. Uh, we're going to start off pretty basic, pretty slow, uh, and then we will go on from there to a few more advanced uh, techniques, tutorials. So the first thing you want to do when you set up a Joomla site is obviously to download Joomla. You can do that by going to joomla.org and then clicking the download button. Download the latest version, which is 2.5.2. .2. So download that. And then once that's downloaded, you want to open up cPanel on your host. And you can get that by going to um, whatever your website's name is. So for this one, I'm using vgmontage.com slash cPanel. Um, and then once you go there, it'll bring you a login screen. Um, which you should have when you signed up with your host. You should have an email with all of your login details for cPanel. Uh, if you're not running cPanel, then you're going to have to do this another way, either using FTP or another um, another alternative to cPanel like Plesk or something like that. But I'm running cPanel and most, most web hosts these days run cPanel, so, so if you're doing that as well, you can follow along. Um, and once you're inside, you're going to go here to File Manager. Now, usually you'll want to have this one selected, Web Root, um, but because I'm setting this up as a uh, subdomain, I'm going to select Document Root Folder for Joomla.vgmontage.com. I'm going to hit OK, and this is going to open up another window, which is the, um, the root folder for that subdomain. Um, so now what we need to do is upload the Joomla file. So if we just hit upload here and then choose file. Alright, so then we find the Joomla file that we just downloaded. We're going to select that and that will instantly start uploading. So this might take a while depending on how fast or slow your internet connection is. Okay, so once it's uploaded it will say complete um, and then you can just hit go back now you'll see here that the Joomla file is located in this folder what we can do now is we need to extract that because that is a zip file full of other files so if you just select it and click the extract button here we want to extract that file to the Joomla folder so we'll hit extract and that will do its thing Alright, now you see it's extracted a lot of files. I'm just going to hit close. And then if we hit if we hit reload here, we'll see that now all these files have been extracted. So now if we go to our website, joomla.vgmontage.com you'll see it redirects us to the installation file where we can choose so we're going to pick Australia because that's where we're from Australia um, now some of these things are off magic quote that's not very good but on I should say um, but they're not anything critical so we'll just go next read through this mm -hmm. yes I agree to everything you said now, get to the real business. So we're going to have to set up a MySQL database in order to run this website. So you're going to have to go back to cPanel, go down to databases and MySQL databases. Let me click that. And now we're going to create a new database. Now you can call it whatever you want. I like to call it something like Joomla, just so later on you know what it is. And I'm going to copy that name. So now we can go back to our web installer here, which with the database name, which is which is the database I just created. We're going to go back here. We're going to create a, another. Um, database sorry we're going to create a database user which we're going to call 
Joomla. Um, and for the password, we're going to use the password generator here and just get a random password. We're going to use, make sure we have copied this password. So control C, use password, it's going to fill it in and then we can create the user. So we're going to paste that password in here by pressing control V and then the username we're going to copy that here and paste it into the username field there. All right, so we set up the user. We've made the the database. We need to connect the two. So we're going to add the user VG Montage Joomla, which is the user that is created, and we're going to add that to the database VG Montage Joomla. Now you'll see I've got a couple of other things, other databases installed here, um, but this is what we want, Joomla, because that's what we just created. So we're going to add that user to that database. I'm going to select all privileges and then hit make changes. So now the user has been added to the database and we are done. So we go back here, we hit next, that should connect fine. Now FTP configuration we're not going to worry about, so just hit next, and now it's time to fill out the site information. Joomla test site, we'll set it up, an email, test at, um, let's just use vgmontage.com, you can just set the username, now I suggest you change the username to something else, anything's fine. Put in your password. Now for this I'm going to install the sample data just so for in future tutorials I'll have a little bit of stuff to work with. Um, and I'd also suggest if this is your first time, which if you're watching this tutorial probably is, I'd suggest you install that as well just so you can get a feeling of, of how things work in Joomla and how things um, should look. Um, yeah, so once that, once you've installed the data, you can just hit next. And it's important to remove the installation folder because uh, there's quite a security risk if you don't do it. And in fact, I don't even think, I don't think you can even access it without deleting it. Yeah, so you do have to delete the installation folder just by pressing this. Pressing this button will do it for you. Now if we go back here, go to our site, we will see, hopefully, bingo bango, congratulations, you have a Joomla site. Alright, so that was it, pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, look out for my other tutorials, I'll be going through some more advanced things later on, like um, installing templates, installing modules, um, doing way more advanced things like custom template overrides, um, custom modules, module positions, stuff like that. So subscribe if you're interested in Joomla uh, and want to make some, some kick-ass websites. Um, thanks for watching.